Good morning, how are you? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass here with another amazing vintage trumpet we have for sale. And I think this is my favorite vintage trumpet of all time. This is the Martin Handcraft Imperial. You want to make sure when you think of vintage trumpets to not confuse the Martin Imperial post-World War II with the Martin Handcraft Imperial. This horn, let me just see if I can focus that a little bit, sorry. This horn was the top of the line for Martin in the late 30s and sort of bled a little bit into 1940, 1941, even I think some, I've seen a few in 42. Um, they had two versions of this horn. They had a bottom sprung version of the Martin Handcraft Imperial, which came around in the early to mid 30s. And then this one, which if you look at a Martin Handcraft Committee, you see a ton of similarities. This horn is so good, so incredibly good. Think about a Martin Committee that didn't have terrible intonation. And I think if you think about that, you will find this horn. That's why I love this horn. It's far more versatile than the, the committee versions of Martin. The Handcraft Committee is an amazing trumpet and of course justifiably so in the price. If you find one, you're gonna have to pay a lot of money for one. These are great deals. Kyle, our shop foreman, I'm in his repair shop actually right now, he did a, a nice restoration on this horn, including a copy, a literally one-to-one -one copy of the original Handcraft Imperial pipe. This is a brand new OEM pipe, which is cool. This horn has been finished in a satin brushed lacquer. The only thing that you're gonna see that is kind of scary, I'll admit, are the valves look ugly. They look ugly. Look at that, that looks ugly. But with Burp 3, this horn actually plays quite well. And something I've always noticed on smaller bore horns is that even if it has a little bit of compression loss, it's actually fine in terms of how it plays. Let me show you some things that I use to test when I check out horns with bad compression. This horn does not have bad compression, but I'm just showing you. Articulating in the low register is very hard on a horn that doesn't have good compression. I just love the sound of this trumpet. It's so beautiful. And with the step bore nature to it, this is a two bore. So Martin made three, actually they made four bores. I, I have seen a four, number four bore. We had one in stock, gosh, maybe eight or nine years ago. That was an extra, extra large bore, not step bore, but just straight 472 bore. Very strange. Uh, the one bore was a number one cylindrical, not conical step bore, 445, I believe, or 448. This is a dual bore. This is the number two bore, and this is an expanding bore from 438 on the top that by the time it gets to this um, out of the bell, it's around 453. So it's smaller than a modern horn, but still, that's what I think it gives it its great presence, its thickness, its beautiful sound. It gives the, um, the pop when you want it, <laughs> and it's just so efficient to play. You can tell I'm a fan. Right? ACB uh, 3 plus.
Like I said, it just has the sound, has the sound. The bell is very beautiful. It's a two-piece bell, and it actually has a side seam on the flare, which is quite rare. Uh, and that engraving, look, the engraving super sharp, beautiful. It's just a beautiful horn. I would love to keep it. I have too many horns in my collection. We have priced this very fairly, very, very fairly, considering how great this trumpet is. And the reason why is because the valves look gross, but they don't play with poor compression. That's the best part. Let me uh, push it a little bit. Just amazing. It's so easy. Incredible horn. Buy it before I change my mind. Thank you so much for all of your support. Hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us. Keep on keeping on and visit our shop sometime. We'd love to see you. Cheers.